What is up, people? It is now time for the January Manga Haul Adventure. This month, I got tons of volumes, over a hundred. It was a big month. We got packages coming in from every single place going so slow. Now, let's get into this sweet manga haul. All right, here we are, guys. These are the sloth hands. You know the drill. I'm going to be churning through manga right here. I'm going to stack them up in the distance and at the end i'm gonna give you a sweet shot of all the manga this month like i said there's a hundred plus i got five stacks of manga to my right to show you guys and each one is over two feet tall there's a lot so let's start getting through this and we are gonna start things off right with helsing deluxe edition volume two that's right we're starting it off with the big red machine these editions are gorgeous they feel great in the hand this inlay is awesome i do like the helsing over the blade of the immortal and i think i'm not the only one in that uh, i do have both blade of the immortals the deluxe and the omnibuses i just think the omnibuses are better even though i do love the hardcover of the big ones but oh geez look at this artwork so much black so much black this guy knows how to just sink black into his artwork it's great all right enough about that let's move on here next up is a two for one we got satoshi khan's opus marmaru oshi and satoshi khan's seraphim well that was a mouthful these are two works specifically i picked up because of satoshi khan a great mangaka if you don't know who he is he unfortunately has passed uh 10 plus years ago now i think that was a big bummer to lose him because I know for a fact uh, with his art his mind he would have made so many more awesome mangas next up we got D gray man we are gonna do some of these in chunks because I do have chunks of manga that I purchased we have 18 through 25 of D gray man obviously skipping a couple we have number 18 here that's a good looking cover. We have 22. We're gonna stop here for a second cause look at this spine. What in the world? I mean, is it, am I just seeing this? That white line you're seeing is the spine. The 22 is like trying to jump over to number 23. Man, they're trying to make 55 for some reason. We got 23 and 25. I am trying to collect all of the gray man. I do own all of it. It is just not all here. I have all the missing pieces floating through the mail from different places. So they'll get here eventually. Next up, a brand new series that I started is Eden Zero. I bought all these and started reading these solely on recommendation from a few people and I can't remember all the conversations I had with all the people but I do remember Flash Reed a manga tuber also known as Elias they gave me the recommendation and said they love this so I do value their opinion and also Hobbies of Man also a manga tuber super awesome definitely check him out also I did talk to them a few times because I was looking into Fairy Tale a series that I've always seen and I've never read and I decided that I wanted to read Fairy Tale. But upon further looking, they told me in their opinion that it was a little all over the place, little jumbled, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then they started talking about Eden Zero. And I said, well, tell me more. And I liked what I heard, so went and picked it up. Red number one, definitely enjoyed it. I like the world set in space, and I'll definitely continue on buying these. Next, we have a tropical fish yearns for snow. What a weird name. We have number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. So there's all five. I bought these for my wife, not knowing what they were, barely knowing what they were about, just a little bit of research. And because I saw them on the Right Stuff uh, sale and I, and I got the bundles, obviously, uh, she did read them. She said they are cute, which 
I would probably say is a given. I mean, just looking at these. And it's uh, a nice, quick read and very nice story so far. I'm not sure how many there are out, but I know there's definitely more than five. We'll most likely get more of these. Next, we have Seven Deadly Sins, number two, three, four, and five. Another series that's on the pause here. Don't you hate this? Man, I hate this. Look at this, that sucks. That's annoying, not a big deal but annoying. Another series that I've never read, but wouldn't mind reading, definitely seems up my alley with shonen type vibes. I'll definitely check this out. I do a volume one. I did read volume one. That's why I have the rest of these. Next up, it's time to da -da 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 -da. I'm not reading these. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! We all know Yu-Gi-Oh! I have watched Yu-Gi-Oh! All of the original series. Uh, I liked it as a kid. I never read the manga. I did not buy these uh, in particular. I was hunting for some used manga and these were in the lot and it was still a great deal so I just got them. I may give them away for a giveaway. They're all in pretty good condition, I would say. Not much yellowing, crisp edges, lines. Stay tuned if anybody wants these. Uh, you just gotta let me know. Another little rare-ish one that you don't see too much is Gundam Ecole Du Seal. Ah, oh, jeez. Apologies. I believe last time I had these on camera, earlier volumes, somebody said they're fr it's French, and they told me how it was pronounced, and I forgot. Here they are, number eight, number nine, and correctly out of order, number seven, and a really beat number two. This one's, this one's beat. Might get a new one of these. Next up, another series I got from my wife, Prince Freya. Got her number one. Keep hearing lots of things through the grapevine about this. Uh, a lot of people say it is good and they enjoy it a lot. So I decided to get her it. And as you can see, I have number one, number two, number three, and number four. I think that's all that's out right now. Well, this number four is skimpy. That was a little, little guy. She did read it. She did enjoy it. I think it was a little harder to get into to completely get started with it, to truly enjoy it. But after number two, she's on board now. And as you can see, we got all that's out. Next up here, we have Toriko 1 through 25. Obviously missing a good bit. We have one. And we got one, two, three... 9, 11, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, 22, and then 23, 24, and 25. I am picking these up slowly and emphasis on slowly. If you've seen my wish list for 2021, one thing is to complete these. Now, so far it's been relatively difficult. There are a lot of volumes which are still available that I'm able to get. I got all these for cheap, but there are some that are awkwardly out of print and just cost so much money and I'm not happy about that and I don't want to pay $60, $70 for one volume of Torico. I mean, come on. Okay, I picked up Mob Psycho 100 5, 6, and Mob Psycho 100 Regan. And if I'm saying that correctly, here's that one. And here are these. Here are these. I fell behind with these, and one day I was like, these are dark horse folks. Whether they're printed a lot or super famous, and there's a lot of them out there, it's still dark horse. So, I decided to just grab them even though I'm behind rather than waiting till later just in case they get axed and then people start buying and they go up in price. All right, we have Waiting for Spring number one. Another series I got from my wife recently and she read it, enjoyed it, and I got a couple more on the way. I don't know too much about it, but she did enjoy it enough that she said she just definitely wants more. All right, next up a series that's brand new, nobody's ever heard of, so I'm going to be the first person to talk about it. 
is Attack on Titan, or however you pronounce that. It's uh, number 32. I, you know, it, it is brand new, but it started at number 32. I just decided to pick up volume one, which is also 32. Jokes aside, it's coming to an end, folks. It is coming to an end. And it is glorious. I have not been disappointed in Attack on Titan yet. From volume 1 to volume 32, anything that I can even pick, pick at, even little things, just get buried in all the goodness. Very excited to see what he has in store for the ending of this series, because right now every single one is blowing my mind. Next up, we got Sacrificial Princess in the King of Beasts number one. This is a shoujo, maybe, I think. I got this for my wife. Also, got her a lot of number ones, so that's why you're seeing a bunch of them. She read this one and said it had a similarity to Ancient Magus Bride, the way it felt, paced, and it seemed. And she didn't seem too stoked about it, but she did want to see number two to see if she would like it and like to continue it. So if you know anything about this series, maybe you can let me know in the comments if it does get better or if or if you think it was good at the beginning because I think she said it was, it felt rushed also, just a lot jammed in number one. Sometimes that happens and it just feels like they're trying to set up a whole world, all these characters and everything way too fast and we want to slow down some development. Maybe that's what it was. Next, I got Witch Buster 13, 14, and 15, and 16. I got these used. I'm not too happy about this one. There's a lot wrong with it, but I don't think I have that much of a problem. These aren't gonna be crown gems on my shelf. Just some of these stickers. Even if you watched my sticker removal and yellowing removal videos out now, definitely go check them out, they're great. Some things are very tough to get off, and I don't know about you, but there are some stickers that are like ironed on almost. And they're impossible to get off without ruining something. And we got one of them on one of these and I'm not happy about that. We got My Hero Vigilantes number five. I have not read any of this series. So I'm buying it just based on the fact that I like My Hero Academia. Is it the greatest? Manga? No, but I enjoy it just like everyone else. It's a good read and I'm buying these solely based on that. So I hope these are good. I don't know how many are out, but whenever I see them, I buy the next one and I plan on starting it soon. It might be something that I wait till My Hero Academia is over to start whenever that may be, you know, that <laughs> that could be, you know, a hundred volumes or something. Who knows? I, I don't know. Next up is something I'm little excited about, I did not know these were in manga form, is Samurai 7 1 and 2. My goodness, if anyone watching this has watched Samurai 7, comment to me down in the chat so we can have an awesome conversation. What an amazing, amazing anime. It's awesome, I'll watch it anytime. Obviously these mangas don't cover the full story and they do a, I'd probably say, bad job it covering the life and the beauty and the wonderfulness that is Samurai 7. They made these to try to make some money and they failed, but the anime is amazing. If you want to watch an amazing anime, I think 26-ish episodes and it's complete, watch Samurai 7. It is great. Here's something that's been getting some buzz. Some bees were buzzing about this and I decided to listen to the bees. My wife bought me number one of this. I've seen it, I've heard of it, I didn't know much of anything about it. She bought it for me and blazed through number one and I thought it was good. It didn't knock my socks off or anything. And then I got number two to continue it. Wow, it is different, it's enjoyable. I like it a lot. It is weird, creepy. I'm excited to see where it goes. And yes, I have three and four on the way, just not here now. Very excited for when those come to check them out. Another one my wife purchased for me was Moriarty the Patriot, if I'm saying his name correctly, probably not. But 
I read this one and it was it was definitely different. I was expecting something a little different when I read this. I knew I knew nothing about this going into reading this. Absolutely nothing. So I went in with an open mind and it uh, it was great. The art is good. The story was a little weird. It felt a little rushed and jammed together in the beginning, but I see tidbits of where they want to go with this and it's starting to expand the world and the characters and I'm enjoying it thoroughly. Got number two coming. Excited to read that. All right, something that's been out for a while that I hadn't gotten but now i do all you need is kill this is the big edition that has both a really cool series about living dying and repeating that all while learning from your actions set in a futuristic time awesome battle suits fights you name it, it's got it. Except for all the stuff you name that it doesn't have. Definitely check this out. Moving along, we got Junji Ito's Remina, Remna, however you say it. Hardcover, looks really nice, feels nice. Pick this up only based on the Junji Ito name, knowing a smidge about this, and I was disappointed. This one didn't impress me. It felt like I wasted my money once I was done. It's pretty, it's gonna look nice, it's hardcover. I'm sorry if you really enjoyed this one, I just did not. I just thought it was, I finished it and I went meh. I wish I could just snap my fingers, get my time and 17 bucks back, you know what I mean? It was one of those things. Not too excited about this one, but you know, support the industry and all that jazz. Here's something that I never feel like I'm wasting my money on. To Your Eternity. Volume 13. I mean, how many more times am I gonna say this? Probably every time you see one in a haul or video. The series is amazing, made by the person who made a silent voice. Please check out this series. I do think they're coming out with a anime, so that's exciting. Hopefully it looks as gorgeous as it does in here. And they show everything and tell the story perfectly because it is a great, great story. We got the Kingdom of the Gods, single big chunky edition. Look at this art. I mean, we're talking wall to wall, shading, blacks. It just looks great. A lot of sweet battles in here. The battles and the way they flow are great. Two stories are in here, a bigger one and then a smaller one. It is kind of a bummer. I think the first, um, obviously the first story to me was better than the second one. The first story I think could have been a manga on its own, whether it's six, 10 volumes, I think there was something there. So it's kind of a bummer when you read stuff like this, that it's just rush, 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 rush. And there's enough here that if there was some background and character progression, you get a sweet, sweet, real in-depth story. But this was very good also. Next up, we have High School Debut. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13, 14, 15. That is complete. The whole series of High School Debut. And these are three in one. And these ones are actually kind of nice. These feel different than newer three-in-ones like for naruto and stuff they might be the exact same but to me that felt different and better these are books i picked up for my wife me and her read my love story and this is drawn and written by the creator of my love story she read these and she enjoyed them a lot speaking of enjoying things and enjoyment we have blue flag number one number two number three number four and number five what a great series heard a lot about this series picked it up for my wife she loves it obviously we got all five up to date now waiting on more what a great story what great characters what a great triangle of love and friendship and everything so nice so nice different check this out and look look at these covers i mean those covers are great and these spines are gonna look great on the shelf too looks great all around art is good what a great series we have a perfect world one two three and four another series 
I got from my wife. Yes, I got her so many. These were gifts. She really liked this series so far. Obviously, we're up to date now. She read them all. She's waiting for more. Very awesome different you see rarely main characters in wheelchairs and stuff like that crippled or anything like that so this is definitely different cool series very cute very nice and drawn great in the books and spines look great also here is a series that i've wanted for a little while and finally started picking these up we have bokirano hours man every time i say something like this it just feels like i'm just butchering it to death but we got one and two it's definitely used as you can see but that's easily removable and the spine and everything was covered in stickers and everything so i did a pretty good job following my sticker removal video getting these off it looks good glad I got some of those speaking of trying to complete things ugh, we have Nura rise of the yokai clan number 10 11 which 11 was hard to find 11 was the one in the series that is going for crazy money that I think like 75 to $100 just for this volume, just for this volume right here. I was able to find one cheap and I'm very thankful for the person who sold me this one because they knew it was worth some money and they gave me a very good deal that I could sleep at night knowing that I bought. And these covers are great looking. I've always loved these covers. Got number 13. 18 yes we're missing some 19 20 20 21 22 doesn't look like Zoro a little bit from one piece got 23 and these covers are just jam-packed with art and awesomeness 24 and 25 I think 25 is the last one I now own all of this series it's just not all in my possession <laughs> at the moment. It is kind of like Toriko. It is floating through the mail, but this one's actually complete, so I'm happy about that. We got Flying Witch number... Can't even see these numbers. Three and four. She has read these already. Man, these are really cute. So nice to just calmingly read these. You know, you had a bad day. You just want to calm down. You want your mind to be stimulated, but you also want to rest before bedtime something and have a good story. These are great. And these covers, I'm not even kidding. They look like Miyazaki movie DVD covers or something. They, the art on this is great looking. And there's a bunch of cute cats and animals and owls and stuff. It's something to check out. Another thing to check out is Shortcake Cake. We got one, two, and three. I did not think when I bought this for my wife that she would enjoy it as much as she would. I did see other people reading this, enjoying this, and loving it, and trying to spread the hype, but I just didn't, I just didn't know. And it is real. She read number one and said, okie dokie, I give you the go ahead. I'm gonna need as many of these as you can get. I don't know exactly what this is about. She told me a little bit and I can't remember, honestly. There's so much manga, so much manga. And last but certainly not least is Itsu Wari Bito. And the reason I have these is because of that filthy, degenerate Jake the Pog, who is neither filthy nor a degenerate. He's just a good guy. So definitely check him out. It's a Beto. So there's one, three, and yes, I purchased this many just based on number one and recommendations. I like it enough that I know I'm gonna like more of it, knowing more about it. Here's number four. There's number six. Let's stop here for a second. This, I think, is the only one that was hard to find. I did find a as you can see, still sticker residue there. Used copy, pretty good, probably near mint shape. Got it cheap. I don't think it's overly priced right now. I think you can still find these in the $25, $30 range, but that's a lot for a manga, you know, that would be $6.99. And of course, it's a weird number. I got number seven. I got number eight, number nine, number 10 and number 11. I don't know how many are in this series. I think it's 20 something, maybe 22, maybe. Well, that's all 100 plus, I think closer to 110 manga this month. Big month, 
lots of manga. I'll bring you in for a close-up now, and like always, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton to know if you like this or you're watching, and also comment to me. No matter what you want to comment, throw me a comment. I love talking to you guys. We can talk about anything. doesn't have to be manga. And I will see you all next time. Oh,